Hello everybody, it's the Doctor here, and today we're going to be doing a real quick review of Stealth Shell in Pursuit. This one has Raphael, Fish Face, and a Single Foot Soldier with some Shuriken. Now this is the first set that I've actually gotten Raphael in, but it looks pretty simple, yet yeah, awesome. A uh, little comic on the bottom shows the Stealth Shell chasing down Fish Face, and you may be able to successfully capture him. At the end of the comic. But Raphael is a pretty cool dude. Uh, fish face looks kind of like a crazy robot creature. So let's go ahead and build it. And then check out the set. So we're going to check out Raphael first. He is the red bandana ninja turtle. Very cool guy. Uh, slightly has a temper problem, but he has really two cool psi weapons. Back shell is the regular straight piece. He is the darker color of a ninja turtle. He's one of the better fighters, as you can see. His shell is a little bit torn up, probably from his temper and getting in a bunch of fights. And of course, he does come with his printed back piece. So if you didn't want to use this big cumbersome shell, you could just use the little printed piece. But pretty cool guy. As you can see, he looks very serious and angry. Next, we just get a regular foot soldier. We've gotten a few of these before. He, do he does come with two golden shuriken, regular old back printing. So probably going to have quite a few of these guys for a nice little army of foot soldiers. Last but not least, we get this crazy guy named Fish Face. I can only imagine why his name is Fish Face. He's half robot. As you can see right here, his legs are robotic because fish do not normally have legs. And he also has this, looks like a breathing device so that he can breathe above water. Um, very basic type build. Does come with these two arm pieces similar to like a droid and a very cool top mold piece very vicious looking dude with his huge teeth pretty cool looking minifigure if i do say so myself i might have to watch the show to see why this guy is half robot and living above water and all mutated crazy looking so let's go ahead and move on to the set looks pretty cool so let's check it out so here's the actual set we basically get two vehicles one is a watercraft and one is a uh, basically like a tri-wheeled uh, bike of some sort. In at the close-up, we see that we get two flick fire missiles. These are aimed back um, because they are going to be shooting behind him. Fish Face wants to shoot the stealth shell car. Very simple build. Some smooth tiles on the bottom to give it that floating look. We also get these canisters of ooze again that we got in a previous set could kind of flick those back i'm not exactly sure what is inside these ooze canisters i believe it's the thing that mutated all the creatures in the first place fish face sits really nice up there with his weird robotic legs very simple build uh nothing really else going on on this thing other than the catapult and the backfiring flick missiles very simple but pretty cool looking indeed now onto the main vehicle this is the stealth shell pretty cool little opening area very unique pieces on the inside here i'll show you that in a second but basically he just sits in here he doesn't really snap in that piece closes down looks pretty cool love the wheels in the front love the wheels in the back we get some fire shooting out of the back it looks like this would almost be a batman styled vehicle you get flip fire missiles two of them of course one lefty one righty um, basically, very simple, but pretty cool looking vehicle. Opens up, like I said. Inside are some very unique pieces. This piece right here is actually for his feet to go inside. Very unusual piece. As you can see, his feet can go inside there so he doesn't have to clip down and then he could still stand up. And we also get the unique, uh, what are these called? Speedometers, that's what they're called. So a lot of unique pieces in this set as well. Very unique colors on this vehicle. 
pretty cool. The issue with it is that it does not turn since it is a uh, single wheeled front wheel vehicle. There's no turning uh, going on here, guys. It's pretty much go forward and go for it. And that's all you get. Rocket in the back, lights in the front. Pretty cool little dude. I think a lot of people are going to be excited to get the Raphael figure. He is a pretty cool looking guy. He's pretty awesome with his two side. The fish face minifigure is pretty awesome. We also get an extra little foot soldier guy for some easy turtle smashing. This is going to be a build it. Mainly because the vehicle is pretty cool. The jet ski vehicle is pretty basic, but it does have some really cool flick fire missiles as well as canisters of ooze. So if you want a really cheap way to get Raphael and get a super awesome set at the same time, this happens to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed this really quick review, and I will see you guys later.